They predicted it all. Max attack on the home run record. Roger Clemens, fifth Cy Young Award. Immerse yourself in the last season of the century. Watch baseball tonight on ESPN. Speak to me, old prophets. Speak to me. Plug into savings on your new DirecTV system today at Circuit City. You'll get free professional installation when you buy a DirecTV system. And get three free months of DirecTV's Total Choice programming when you subscribe to Total Choice, a value of over $85. Plus, get one free month of movies from USSB, a $32.99 value, a combined value of over $300 in free services. Get more movies, more sports, and more value from your TV with DirecTV at Circuit City. Is uh, Gruber, can I interest you in some wonderful opportunities in this stock? Ms. Gru Ms. Gruber? It's time for E Trade, the number one place to invest online. This ESPN News presentation of the 1999 NFL Draft is brought to you by 1 800 Collect, the easy way to save, and by Range Rover, the most advanced thinking ever found in a 4x4. Welcome back to New York. We are joined by the man at the podium for most of the first round of the man at the podium for the last decade, Commissioner Paul Tagliabue, and uh, good to see you again, Paul. Good to be back. The draft is so exciting, and this year, quarterbacks, five quarterbacks in the first 12. Here's your, here's your influx flying into the next century. I mean, were you excited as a fan seeing the way it went with the young quarterbacks, three of whom happened to be black, but that has nothing to do with it. Times have changed. And maybe we're flying into the next century. Well, I think as a fan, you get excited if you have the great talents coming into the league. And so uh, it was exciting to see those top three up there, but Ricky Williams also, and the, uh, you know, so many good running backs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited. And, and you had so many fans here today, too. That was one of the big things today. Eagles fans, Browns fans, Jets, Giants. You worried about attendance records here at the draft now. Come on. <laughs> they were standing outside. I know. Speaking of the Browns, this has been... Well, this has been a void that the league in general and Cleveland obviously has has missed and imp they're welcome back, aren't they? Well, the Browns coming back is is a big story for the National Football League and for Cleveland fans. Those fans are all over the country, of course, most of them in Northeast Ohio. But it's the first time something like this is happening where a city loses a team, but it keeps the name, the tradition, the colors and comes back. So we're we're very pleased it's happening. Speaking of cities that have lost teams and want them back. L.A. is on the clock, to use a draft term, and Houston is is waiting to see if there's a trade. What, what's the status of a football team in Los Angeles, the 32nd team? Is it till September? Is there a meeting coming up? Yeah, we're trying to get something done by mid-September. We'll be out there next week meeting with people in the business community, meet, meeting with public officials, trying to pick a site and get on with the selection of ownership so we can make that real. If we can't make it real, then uh, we'll have to take another look at Houston, which also put a real attractive proposal in front of us. It's got some great fans. They seem to be very lined up in Houston. Very much so, and they have that tradition of Earl Campbell, and uh, so they want the NFL, and, and we'd love to try to do something in both cities over the long term. Paul, where does Washington stand now? What's What happens next with the Redskins ownership? Well, the trustees are looking at their alternatives. They understand that uh, they want to move quickly, We'll work with them closely. I spoke to one of their representatives last week, and we'll try to get a new owner selected in, uh, in an, ex an, an expedited schedule. I think what they did today shows that uh, the organization's not hurting in terms of getting ready for the 99 season. I spoke to Norv Turner out at our league meetings, and he was very confident that uh, they're ready to turn it around. So uh, we, knew we do need to get that ownership group in place. Expedite, I mean, you need to... Is it possible next month or two? Next oh, yeah, I would think we would present something at our league meeting in May, if not before. Speaking of an organization which is still doing business very well, but a little bit different, San Francisco. Where does Eddie DeBartolo stand? Where do they stand with the league? Well, as you know, I suspended Eddie for a mm -hmm. year, and uh, I think it's critical that they have the people there like Bill Walsh, John McVay, Steve Mariucci. Of course, they got the Steve Youngs and the others, so I think they're ready to play. I spoke to Steve... Uh, at the league meeting as well 
Eddie and his sister are going to have to straighten some things mm -hmm. out between them, and then we'll take a look at uh, Eddie's status after the season's over. Finally, it happened in March, but you were the, the, the guy that pushed kind of a compromise for instant replay. The last two minutes, take it out of the coach's hands and, and put it up in the booth. Are, are you genuinely excited, and are you really confident that replay is going to work under this system with a kind of half-challenge, half-review system? I think it can. I think the technology is there, the, the, the zoom lenses, and I think we can take advantage of that, you know, across the board in the final two minutes of each half, then have the coaches challenged during the rest of the game, and we'll get at what most people want us to get at, which is the game-breaking play, the season-breaking play, not just, uh, you know, oversaturation of replay reviews. Can you believe you've been in this job decade and counting? decade and counting and uh, still having fun and uh, when you have a draft like today you're real optimistic about the future now you've stayed a fan as long as i've known you thanks for joining us paul thank you commissioner paul tagliabue with us here we'll return to second round action if you will in new york when our draft coverage continues in a moment is jason there i'll see Still looking. The surprisingly new Land Rover. The biggest news from Land Rover in years. And voted best compact sport utility vehicle by Automobile Magazine. I want to like Rebecca. I really do. But she thinks Miller Lite tastes great because it's smooth. And Rick thinks it's because of the choice hops. And even if we could get past that, we'd still argue over whose work sells the most sports magazines. Okay, in-depth analysis of the nickel defense or fishnet bikinis. You decide. Look, Rebecca. Guys buy sports magazines for great sports writing. Oh, great. So I guess we'll be seeing that Rick Riley sports writing calendar any day now. Oh, man. <laughs> Miller Lite, the great taste of a true Pilsner beer. authentic khaki. It gets better with every wash. That meeting is going to start whether I get rid of this headache or not. So I took Advil liquid gels. Stronger and faster than extra strength Tylenol on tough pain. It's the only pain reliever with liquid inside. Advil liquid gels. Stronger and faster. With days in hotels in over 1,800 cities and towns, you can go as far as you want. We'll always be right down the lane. Yeah. Days in. There you go. For 20 points, can you name the greatest, grooviest swing in a 70s sports quiz show ever? Would you like to try a guess? The answer is on ESPN Classic. For 20 points, how do you get ESPN Classic? You've got to call 1-800-CLASSIC to get Sports Challenge and the greatest old school boxing, baseball, football, basketball, hockey, and so much more. If you've got a need for knowledge, check the facts on Sports Challenge by calling 1-800-CLASSIC to get ESPN Classic today. Are you old school? Polaroid presents ESPN's 20th Anniversary Draft Snapshots. Indianapolis has selected uh, Trev Alberts, linebacker from Nebraska. But the pass up a Trent Dilfer when all you have is Jim Harbaugh, give me a break. That's why the Colts are picking second every year in the draft, not battling for the Super Bowl like other clubs in the National Football League. Who in the hell is Mel Kipe? I mean, here's a guy that criticizes everybody, whoever they take. He's got the answers uh, who you should take and who you shouldn't take. In my knowledge of him, he's never ever put on a jock strap. Mel Kuyper has no more credentials to do what he's doing than my neighbor, and my neighbor's a postman, and he doesn't even have season tickets to the NFL. Well, Chris, I'll tell you, I'm secure in my position. Obviously, Bill Tobin is not very secure in his position to have a response like that. I have a right to my opinion. He has a right to his. Obviously, the Pac-10, Big Ten, ACC is all this guy looks at. To me, it's a mistake. You cannot go with Jim Harbaugh and pass up Trent Dilfer. Forget it. That's why the Colts are the laughing stock of the league year in and year out. 
<laughs> We've had well, a little you, fun over the yeah, years, haven't you, we, Mel? Same you, time. You just no controversy spit on there. it. Was that the same time? <laughs> no controversy, though, this year so far. No, just the same time. <laughs> well, you can make your own controversy, you know that? I think so. We still have time. Now, I don't agree with you. 